The 2010 Haitian earthquake unleashed a horrible and catastrophic devastation. Over 300,000 dead. Unbelievable. 300,000. Thank you, George. Millions displaced or injured. Taxpayer dollars intended for Haiti and the earthquake victims went to a lot of the Clinton cronies. I really want to be your greatest champion, and I will be your champion, whether you vote for me or not. As a candidate for president, while unfairly trashing his opponent, Donald Trump proposed a cr promised a crowd of Haitian Americans in Miami's little Haiti that he would be Haiti's biggest champion. But as president, he announced the end of temporary protected status for Haitians last November. And today, he crudely disparaged their country. Tomorrow happens to be the seventh anniversary of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. And the Reverend Al Sharpton is the host of MSNBC's Politics Nation and, and the founder and president of the National Action Network. Rev, your, first of all, just uh, let you respond to what Donald Trump said today about S-hole countries. Well, first of all, let's be real clear. This is the most racist, bigoted pattern of comments that we've heard a president make. We've got to deal with the fact that it was just a month ago where he said all Haitians had AIDS yep. and that Nigerians would not go back to Nigeria. To their huts. To their huts in a, in a nation that has, as you said, uh, multiple huge cities. Mm -hmm. He has built a whole presidency on race. Anytime you say, he didn't just say these disparaging, bigoted remarks about the nation of Haiti and, and other nations of color. He says, why don't we get more people from Norway? Yeah. Which is really saying, why don't we get more white people? That's right. So we now have a foreign policy based on race. One question, who were the senators in the room? What did they say when he said these things? Mm -hmm. And why are we not talking about how we must mobilize to deal with them in 2018? Because we're talking about policy. He can have whatever opinions he wants. But as president of the United States, to be sitting around discussing policy is a threat to all of us. Donald Trump grew up in New York, mm -hmm. as I did. I know New York. He knows New York. New York has never been a city we did not have people from Haiti and people from other nations of color. So this is a decision he's made. This is not someone who doesn't know better. Right. This is someone who's chosen a path that is absolutely racism with steroids. And this is somebody that you I mean, you've known Donald Trump for a very long time. And Donald Trump is somebody, as you said, he lived in Queens. Uh, Queens uh, is a is a part of New York that has a lot of people from the Caribbean. A lot of my cousins lived in Queens. Uh, it has a lot of people from Haiti. There's a lot of people from Africa. It, ha it has sort of a, uh, you know, a, a melting pot that is much like New York, and Donald Trump wouldn't let those people live in his apartments that he, he and his father He was sued ran. in the 80s when we were fighting in Queens about a black young man being killed in Howard Beach in Queens, yep. not far from Jamaica states where he grew up. That's right. When we were fighting that, he and his father were defending a racial discrimination lawsuit. Then after that, his position on the Central Park Five, when some of us were marching, saying we did not believe they did it, he was saying they should have the death penalty. They were were exonerated after doing many years in mm -hmm. jail. He said they still should not get a settlement. So there's a pattern here. Then he would change and act democratic. He even came to National Action Network's conventions twice. Right. But he can deal with people as long as he can transact. But he's never had key black executives in his organization. Look at the record. Mm -hmm. We are looking at a man that grew up, that grew up in a city that was mostly of color, mm -hmm. that is two thirds black and Latino now and can say these kind of remarks because he doesn't think anyone's going to do anything about it. We must mobilize. We must mobilize against those that would sit in the room and be an accomplice to this kind of bigotry. This whole thing of I remember when I started attacking him on the Bertha yeah. issue, saying it was race based. He got angry and met with me and said, you're calling me a racist. I said, I didn't call your name. I'm saying what you're doing is racism. He laid a lie and said, I apologize for calling him a racist, but I got on TV that night before he could and right. said that wasn't a discussion. 
But we've got this flexible definition about what a racist is. Who do you have to spray paint the N-word in the Oval Office or have a hood in, in the Lincoln's bedroom to be a racist? If you advocate everything whites only, bring me the Norwegians, bring me this or that, and disparage at every opportunity, whether it's Charlottesville, whether it's immigration policy, every opportunity you disparage people of color, you are dealing from a racist and bigoted point of view. And the danger is that he is now putting that into policy right. in America. So let's not act like mm -hmm. that's just Trump. We know how he is. He is building this into the very fabric of policy in this country. And we need to in mass. We need to Martin Luther King's birthday mm -hmm. is being celebrated Monday. And I've been on the phone all day with putting together civil rights and human rights and immigration leaders. There needs to be some mass action. We need to really start targeting a lot of these senators. I want to know who was in the room. What did they say? Dr. King said that you judge the character of a man or woman by where they stand in the times of controversy, not in the times of convenience. It should be made politically inconvenient to co-sign this kind of bigotry in the Oval Office. Indeed. Reverend Al Sharpton, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I really appreciate talking to you. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.